we are about to embark upon a series of strange and exciting, dangerous adventures. Adventures that will lead us to all parts of the world. Hello and welcome to another Bad Comic Review. This time we're looking at Pumpkinhead, issue 4. Main story and backup written by Cullen Bunn. Art on the first story was by Blackie Shepard and Kyle Stram did the art on the backup. Letters were both by a Larger World Studios' Troy Pateri. Colors on the main story by Rancia Studio. I have cover B by Blackie Shepard with colors by Marie Enger. Cover's okay, but Pumpkinhead should have been centered. Otherwise your eye just kind of wanders around and you don't really know who you're supposed to be looking at here so i would have made him a little bit more prominent centered probably a little larger so pumpkin head has been distracted from hunting his prey and haggis is in some real trouble there's also one of the creatures going after the sheriff and the members of the rival clan and a lot of people do not make it out of that building now the story largely focuses on those two things the weird freakish monster that's ripping people apart and haggis is attempts to escape the monster well pumpkin head gets his butt kicked now bunt the dr local drunk knows how to fix this problem but nobody wants to let him do it because it would be a little bit gruesome and we're left with an ending where the two groups may be meeting up then we get the backup story about gluttony and it's really not very good i don't care for the art on the backup story it's really kind of lame looking it's really sketchy and looks very hurried so i don't much care for it and it's just sort of a silly throwaway but it's better than the first installment of it but it really probably should have been a one shot with better art the art in the main story again suffers from at times looking very rushed this issue is not as bad as last issue but it's really not that good the artist appears to be doing computer generated art instead of by hand and although the monsters look pretty good some of the scenes look very rigid and the perspective shots are very flat so you don't get a lot of really good angles or anything interesting it's just very flat plus portions look very very random on people so i'm not a fan of this art there are times where it looks fine but more often than not it looks very rigid as if it's posed action figures or 3d models and people's proportions look very odd especially with their heads and sometimes the faces look awkward so i'm not a giant fan of the art style i think it's very amateurish and needs a lot of work but i've seen worse out of dynamite which is pretty shocking at times and like i said there's some talent here it just needs to be refined this is good dollar bin material especially for halloween time because the story is pretty fun the whole seven deadly sins thing is a little bit overplayed a lot but the monsters don't look too bad pumpkin head looks really cool so there's that but i would say if you pick them up out of a dollar bin you're not going to feel too cheated for what you paid but that's going to do it for this one thank you so much for listening and supporting the channel if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future reviews if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways links are in the description to various support methods and as always we hope to see you on the next one